That's it. Let's go ahead and throw it into Chelsea Ingram. Chelsea, it's a little chilly out here. Yeah, we're going to be dealing with the wind chill, Marty, into the overnight. That's going to be in the teens and 20s for some folks. Let's talk about it. A lot to talk about, in fact. Temps right now are in the 40s. It's fairly seasonable outside for this time of year. It is winter. You know, the second shortest day of the year is what we've been dealing with. It's 45 right now at BWI. They're going to Marshall Airport, 45 Rock Hall, upper 40s east and 46 degrees in Cambridge. But look at these winds. They are still whipping. And this is going to be the windiest part of the day. Wind should diminish and drop off a little bit heading throughout the evening and then much more overnight. But there's still going to be just enough wind to make it feel uncomfortable with the wind chill. And it's going to be cold enough for that as well. Winds at 14 in Westminster, 21 Frederick, 21. In the district. So, you're going to have to dress for the wind chill over the next several hours. If you have a holiday party this evening, if you're doing some last minute shopping, dress for wind chills that are in the 20s by 8 p.m. 24 is what it'll feel like by 10 o'clock. But take a look at this by tomorrow morning. Feeling closer to 20 degrees by 4 a.m., that means past that, it's going to feel like the teens out there as we are waking up just before the sun rises. So, that means the kiddos, they got a half day tomorrow. They are going to have to dress. Accordingly, and so will the adults. Looking at satellite and radar, here's what we're dealing with high pressure building on in. It's going to push offshore very quickly tomorrow, and then we're monitoring a little quick clipper system that is going to push by to our north. It's going to increase our cloud cover as we head throughout the day. So we'll start off the day with sunshine, very cold. Cloud cover increases throughout the day, and we could get a stray flurry swinging through as we head into tomorrow evening, tomorrow night. But most areas stay dry. In fact, most areas have a better chance of just dealing with clouds and then we'll deal with clouds continuing even as we head into Christmas Eve because a warm front is going to be kicking its way up to the north and that's going to add us a surge of warmth to the forecast for the Christmas holiday. So your local travel on Thursday, wind chills Teens and 20s to start out the morning. Clouds increase by the afternoon. We're at 34 degrees by 7 o'clock. Stray flurry to the north, but overall, looks like pretty ideal travel conditions. So, tomorrow, locally, look for high right around 43 degrees, and we'll zoom you into a couple of towns that can expect highs. It's going to be a cold one tomorrow, okay? I feel like January, and we're almost there anyway. 40 in Jarrettsville, 41 for the high in Moncton. A shower for Santa, that surge of warmth, and a few showers Christmas Day. There's that warm up. Check it out. We're going up to 60 degrees, it looks like, by just, Christmas afternoon.